recipe for a successful agent in town, Hollywood? You've got to be one-third schmooze artist, one-third clinical psychologist, one-third pit bull, and... Carkey, what's the other third? I'm Taylor McGilvery. And I'm Sandy Spracklin. And welcome to tonight's edition of Primetime Edition Close-Up Tonight. Tonight's edition of Primetime Edition Close-Up Tonight comes to us from Hollywood, California. La La Wood, if you will. Yeah. So often the hometown to dashed hopes and good intentions. Although even in La La Wood, occasionally one is able to get his grubby little mitts on that elusive brass ring known as success. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the script, girl. Find me one and I will. <laughs> But is talent alone the only ingredient for a recipe for stardom? Not likely. For your journey in Hollywood is a study in futility, unless you have an agent. Ah, but not just any agent, Sandy. One of Hollywood's super agents. And there is none more powerful than Neil Sussman. No, no, that, but that is not what I said. As president Jeremiah, and founder of ICA listen. International, Let Sussman has become one of Hollywood's most influential movers Let and shakers. Demi's agent told me that she could start on the 25th. Bob Saget's people had no problem with that. And now you're telling me that Beethoven the dog doesn't work Thursdays? Hello? I love what I do. I wake up each morning and I have to give myself a pinch. A, because I'm a very heavy sleeper. But, too, because I just, I can't believe how lucky I am. Did you always want to be an agent? Not initially. In fact, I started off in medical school. But I soon realized that I wasn't interested in medicine at all. It was just I was a tremendous fan of Richard Chamberlain's work. Goldie said that. <laughs> oh, well, Goldie's funny. Goldie's funny. Well, I don't agree. Oh. Um. <laughs> C Kurt, no, Kurt, Kurt was in yesterday, and he had, he, had the, um, he had that funny expression that he gets on that Stargate expression that works fine. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, sure, sure. I, 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 uh, I... People say you're tough. Are you? Well, if that means am I rock hard in my beliefs and not afraid to bulldoze anyone who gets in my way, creating an aerial view of Versailles, if needs must, with, you know, no survivors required or invited, for that matter. I'm sorry, what was the question? Are you tough? Not really. Okay, now you're going to hate me for this one. <laughs> well, then don't do I'm it. I'm going to do I it. Because I like you, Sandy, I do. <laughs> you remind me of Ruta Lee. Thank you. Who's your favorite client? <gasps> oh, I knew you were going to do that. Well, if you promise not to tell Kevin, Bet, Goldie, or Julia... Do you promise? Scout's honor. <laughs> yeah, and I believe you. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but right now, I'm, I'm totally bewitched by my newest client, Rob Tarna, mm. who's made such a big splash on this year's SNL with his That's Right Guy character. Yes. I think he just makes me squeal. Mm. I remember the first time he did the That's Right Guy character, and we were at SNL, and we agents were all in the booth, and we looked down on this scene, and Charlene Tilden was the yes. host, yes. and she comes in, and she says, excuse me, is this the mail room? Do you have a rubber stamp? And he looks at her and he goes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we just squealed. <laughs> the Rob Tarno That's Right Guy movie is the latest in a lucrative trend of late night characters starring in their own feature films. Sussman has been the driving force behind this most and recent one. action. So you're saying we're not giving in? That's right. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> all right, let's get Meryl's coverage from over your shoulder. No, no, you know what? This is stupid. This is stupid, all right? I'm not... Why? Why? Because we need to get Meryl's reaction to what you're saying. Sai, I told you, nobody cares about her. And if they did, they could go home and rent one of her crappy movies on video. All right? You know what? I'm out of here. Let me handle this. Gorky, have one ready. 
Sussman is renowned and respected for his undying loyalty to his clients. It's all bull poop, Neil. It's all bull poop. I totally agree. But for now, you've got to play the game. And if you don't, you're making a huge mistake. Huge. So what you're saying is I just need to go along with them on this one, and then the next one I'm going to get to direct? That's right. And now you're doing my character. Oh, I am, aren't I? That's right! <laughs> but it's Neil Sussman's devotion to his four children and his wife, Bertie, that has enabled him to continue his grueling pace while grounding him as a full human being. But I don't care what Katzenberg or Spielberg or little Davy Geffen has to say. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, hold on for a sec. Uh, bless this food for what we're about to receive and blah, blah, blah. Yours truly. That's not the deal, Memo Morgan. Why? Let me finish. Let me... Just let me finish. What is... Is this turned? I haven't seen beef that rare since Tom Cruise's screen test. When I look back at this long, long journey I call my life, I can't help but think about bussing tables at Schwab's, youngest boy at the mailroom at William Morris, private secretary for Charles Nelson Riley, And it's satisfying to know that when I finally meet my maker and he looks at me and says, Neil, you had quite the life. I'll be able to say, that's right. <laughs> 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 Very, very fascinating man. Very riveting. Nice work, Sandy. Thank you. Obviously, you had a lot of help with the piece. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, it made sense. What gives? <laughs> I don't like Ow! that. I don't like hey, that. Hey, she hit me. I'm <laughs> suing. Ow! <laughs> Next week, we'll meet serial killer Charles Gould and learn how origami has changed his life. Until then, I'm Sandy Spracklin. And I'm Taylor McGilvery. And from Primetime Edition Close Up Tonight, good night and keep believing. Mm. That did not hurt. Did that I bet, hurt? I bet it bruises. Are you serious? Gotcha! Oh. <laughs> Taylor! <laughs> Taylor! <laughs> you got out of here. Finally, I fooled you. Finally, I fooled you. Well, you put me on your worst dress list. Oh, Coming up, guys, guys, Paul Schaefer and Mr. Blackwell. Schaefer, don't start with me. I forgive you for that. I no, just wait a met, second. First of all, two yes. weeks earlier, I had...